verse and song. We stay on the front line. Something like that. Maybe we're still here after the bomb drop. We go so hard. Man, oh my God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, I really don't want to bring this story, but one of my sisters, one of my church sisters, I should say, and I don't want to see them go out like this, but I cannot not make a comment. Otherwise, I will be a hypocrite about Tamar Braxton. Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. I'm very disappointed in you, Tamar, because you out here looking bad, Tamar. You out here looking extremely, extremely crazy. And I ain't talking about Pisces crazy. I'm talking about for real, for real, for real crazy. Not Leo crazy, but for real, for real, for real crazy. Or Aries crazy. I'm talking about main mental health. Give you a time out for a while till you get your mind right. And yes, yes, yes. That sounds harsh probably to a lot of y'all. Um, but it's the truth. It's the damn truth. Okay, I just ran across this article already. Wasn't too long ago, 2021, 2020, um, Tamar was thanking her boyfriend for saving her life after she was hospitalized for trying to kill herself, right? And it was Adifiso who found her lifeless body. You know, um, and she talking about it couldn't have been easy for him, right? But he was the love of her life. And then we found out he was roughing her up. Or, if I'm not mistaken, um, using her, whatever the hell else. But you had a husband named Vince who you was really pissed off because you said all Vince liked at first was white girls. And you didn't want to compete with them. Okay? That, well, these are your own words from your own reality show. Then I see a picture with you with the blonde. Matter of fact, it ain't even blonde. It's what my mama called toehead. You just bleached all the way. Bleach, bleach, bleach. It ain't even blonde like an aborigine. It's white. It's white. And so I'm like. What kind of psychological fugazi is this? You done got mad at the brother because you said he liked white women. Yet and still, the first chance you get is you sleeping with a baby daddy, a white baby daddy with six kids, with all these baby mamas. Oh, my God who just dissed you with Tommy Lee and now you talking about you want your man back? Oh, God. And he disrespected you to her? Uh, Logan, get your mama. Get your mama. Um... You said when Vince lost weight, he ain't want, he started acting brand new. No. It probably, that's a, it was a little bit of that. But I believe that Vince loved you. And I believe you was just too much. You was too much. And Tony, I ain't getting ready to let you off the hook. What make you think that, what make you even say you want them to go off and elope her and the white boy that's disrespecting her and trying to put two black women against one another. You know, and for those of y'all that's going to hit me up in the comments or say something like, well, you know, he's a black. Look, white men have been sleeping with black. It's nothing, no big deal. What, 
what y'all think uh, slavery was all about? What do you think Thomas Jefferson did? Matter of fact, Thomas Jefferson was a pedophile. White men always have used and abused black women. And some of them go after them just because they black, just like a lot of y'all Negro men go after women because they white. We really got an identity, a freaking problem here in this country. I mean, and then to turn around and your boyfriend call you everything but a nigger, and in some cases he might just do it. I know I've seen women. I know a guy whose wife called him a nigger in a heated argument. I mean, what about the children that come from this damn union? Fortunately, y'all don't have no kids. This man got six. But I heard you say you want to have a baby again. Sit your behind down. You're done. You're done. Stop embarrassing your family. Stop embarrassing black women. And stop embarrassing little girls. Because right now, you're not being a very good role model at all. And some of y'all that think anything go, it don't matter. That's why we paying the price right now as the laughing stock of a group of people on a race, on a, on a race to the bottom of the totem pole. Like it's a damn game. Like it's a damn game. All this damn ignorance. I mean, it's just really mind-blowing. From the sexy red to Sukiyana, all y'all hoes. This is a race to the damn bottom. And I'm sorry, I just had to say it. Y'all don't represent black women. And if you, you what you representing is the trifling life. That's why I said, why you going there, Tamar? Why you going there? And I'm not going to let nobody take y'all from being kings and queens and women who cared about how they look to stepping out here in front of these little girls like that teacher said, got little kids singing about crazy stuff. The, yo, you, the, the, the standard is the basement. I know I'm going off right now, but I'm so sick of it. This race to the damn bottom. Black women, step your ass, your game up. And stop letting people use you and act like and you can't sell no records unless you look like a damn uh, tramp. Ain't no more music playing on Clear Channel. Ain't no, I mean, because Clear Channel then, uh, er, uh, uh, moved all the real musicians and the messages out the way. And this is what y'all left with? See, there's a purpose and a reason why they did that and why they took music out. It didn't all have to be conscious. It just could have been about real love. It just about could have been about how you feel when you're in love. It could have just been about those feelings from a man or a woman expressing those things. Now we got WAP, wet-ass black women. Y'all at a race to the fucking bottom. You sinking fast. You sinking fast. And nobody in no community has a place for a woman who don't even know what her high calling is. And that she th she's relegated to a WAP or a sexy red. Or I'm F R E E L E. You know, I'm done. I'm done. Let me, I'm going too far. All right. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down. Because I'm still saying what I mean. And I mean what I say. Step your game up.